this is Vicki Gervicus at the Greater Gainesville Chamber, and we're delighted to welcome Stan McLean today. He is one of our candidates for the State Senate, uh, District 9, and that, as you probably know, is the seat uh, that's been held by Keith Perry for a number of years, and he has termed out. So we have some new faces to get to know today. Welcome, Stan. Thank you, Vicki. Uh, great to be here, and uh, again, thanks for uh, doing this. Look forward to uh, a, a conversation and, uh, um, you know, a little, just short little bit about me is, you know, I have been serving in the Florida House. Uh, I've been the resident of Marion County for 45 years. I uh, uh, have a wife, Jessica, um, have a passel of kids and some grandkids and and uh, like to get out and uh, love old Florida and, and Florida in general. But uh, so uh, thank you for having me. Terrific. All right. Well, we're going to start out with uh, just a few general questions. And the first one is, what particular skills and experiences and kind of as an incumbent, what uh, as we're getting to know you better, what particular skills and experiences are you bringing to this office? Uh, thank you for that question. You know, I think I think so going back to my, you know, my personal life again. So I'm a building contractor by trade. So I have some, you know, I have experience in, you know, small business, that kind of thing. And certainly uh, and then, you know, I think some somewhat unique to that is I've ser I served in local government for 12 years down here in Marion County. I was on the county commission for 12 years. And then, you know, I've had eight years in the Florida House. And so I, I understand the process. Um, and certainly, you know, I think my life, just my life in general that I live, you know, I have a family, you know, you know, kids and going to school, different play college, you know, the whole thing. And so I think that helps give me some uh, uh, experience as it relates to just everyday issues that people face. And, and uh, certainly, you know, from a small business owner's perspective, I have that, you know, I, I do the same, you know, I understand some of those same struggles, you know, as we, as you try to run a small business or a business in general. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Um, if you uh, move from the House into the Senate, what would be your top priorities and projects there? You know, so I think one of the things I've found too. So originally in my original house district, it was just half of Marion County for about my first three terms. It was just half of Marion County. And and then when we redistricted, I ended up picking up a piece of Lake and a piece of Volusia County. And so as I got into those other communities, I found out that most of the challenge, most of the challenges that we were facing in Marion were some of the same challenges that, you know, gains with uh, um, Lake or Volusia County, some of the same stuff. Right. You know, everybody wants to make sure, you know, we have safe schools and, you know, good schools and those types of things, you know. Roads have become a big issue just because of the growth we've had. Growth's become a big issue. And, uh, you know, so I think we'll continue to look at how, you know, how do we how do we continue to fund those? How do we continue to, you know, ensure that uh, we have, you know, a good transportation network and, and whatnot? And I, I think one of the other things for me, one of the other top priorities, one of the things that I really think we need to start thinking about is as Florida grows. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, there are some people that would say, you know, they don't want any growth, but that we know that's not going to happen. And so, you know, we have to figure out how to, you know, manage that. But I think one of the big issues we need to think about over the next several years is how are we going to make sure that we have an abundant supply of energy for, you know, to make sure that we can have power for, you know, everybody that's going to be here and, you know, all those types of things. And, uh, you know, I think that the power companies are doing good, good job of that. But I think as a as a as a, a, a legislative body, we need to have some of those, you know, we need to start having some of those conversations so that we don't run into, you know, where you have um, issues where you have blackouts and, you know, brownouts and some of those types of things. So I think that's a, for me that I think that's going to be a big issue going forward. OK, terrific. Um, and I'll remind our viewers that nobody got the questions ahead of time, but sometimes, you know, we just segue perfectly into the next question, <laughs> which is Florida's population is expected to grow by 300,000 residents each year over the next five years. Given the profound implications for our state, what do you think the legislature needs to be working on right now? Um, again, I, you know, <laughs> and I didn't have, it just, yeah, it, it is segue. an issue, right? And so, no, I, I, I think, you know, obviously I, I do believe that, you know, again, we need to make sure that we have a good energy grid in place and all those types of things. Transportation is going to be a huge issue. I, back in 2016, when I ran for the Florida house in 2016, the, the big chain, the Florida chamber had come out with their 2030 study that they had done. And they said, you know, Hey, we're going to have 6 million people moving into, into Florida between 2015 and 2030. 
And uh, so I would jokingly say, hey, the good news, if you're a business person, is we got six million new customers moving to Florida, you know, over the next 15 years. The bad news is if you're, you know, going to be in government and trying to meet need, you know, meet the bands and needs, we got six million new people moving. And so I, you know, that probably hasn't changed a lot. But I do think that, again, you know, ensuring that we have good schools, good roads, um, ensuring that we have a, you know, a, a good energy policy in place or, you know, certainly trying to do things that would help help ensure that we have, you know, energy to for those folks. Uh, obvi- you know, obviously one of the things, you know, is, um, you know, the legislature's taken a lot of steps in the last few several years, actually, to uh, make sure that we have, you know, we want to make sure that we have la- uh, co- conservation land, you know, park lands, all those types of things for people to use as well. And, you know, everybody enjoys using our beaches and our lakes and our rivers and all that stuff. And, you know, I think we need to continue to focus on, uh, we've, you know, we've, uh, allocated a lot of resources towards those things over the last, you know, over the last several years. And we'll con- you know, we need to continue to do that too, for our quality of life. And so. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, this is kind of a very broad question, but it, it, uh, refers to a lot of what's been in the news, uh, recently. Is Florida moving in the right direction or the wrong direction? I believe that Florida's moving in the right direction. And I do, th- I, I think that, uh, I tell people all the time, the future of Florida is bright. While we have, you know, certainly growth adds a lot of challenges for us, but I believe that the the future is bright. I'm, look, I'm a half, I'm a, you know, I'm an optimist uh, in my real life, you know, my personal life, I'm, I'm normally the guy that, uh, is, is the optimist. And, but even, even with the challenges that we're going to face, I think Florida, Florida is absolutely moving in the right direction. And, and again, the future for Florida is, is bright. The future for our kids is bright, right? I mean, we, there are so many opportunities now for our kids to stay here at home, you know, stay home and have a good job and, you know, all those types of things. I think, you know, one of the best things that we did in the Florida House in the last several years was when we tied our employment and our education committees are tied together. So, you know, everything we focus on from an educational perspective is someone getting a good job, you know, when, and that's really what we should be focused on. You know, it's like what should be the well, we want to make sure you have a good job. You can provide for yourself. You can have a great economic future for yourself. And so I think that's one of the things that that will help propel us and keep us moving forward and keep us, uh, you know, keep the future bright for us. Terrific. All right. And then we have one of these uh, final wrap up questions that uh, we like here at the chamber so much, which is why should our local business community support your campaign, your campaign? Well, you know, I, I, I think number one, I am a small business guy. So I, you know, I kind of understand that, you know, I, I do understand business. I've had to make payrolls. I've had to do all those types of things. If you look at my, if you historically look at my, you know, service, uh, my time of service, whether it's local government, whether it's been at, you know, in in the state house, uh, you know, I've always uh, supported things for small business to ensure that uh, they have, you know, the, the resources they need to be able to, you know, run their businesses. You know, I'm, I'm always uh, looking for ways if we can try to cut some red tape and cut some regulation and some of those types of things that make it easier for people to run their businesses that, you know, that that's something that I'll continue to do, do because it's, it is important when you, I I believe it was last year, 2,500 new businesses were created in Florida last year. And, and most of those are small business, right? And so uh, when, while we, all of our chambers, our chamber has some big, big employer members and whatnot, but most part it's made up of smaller, smaller businesses and whatnot. And so uh, we need to make sure that, you know, when we do things in Tallahassee that we, you know, we always try, I always try to keep that in mind personally is how how would this affect me if I were a business owner or are there things that we're requiring that create a lot of work or cost money or time, you know, time is money for, you know, for small business owners, a lot of stuff we do, we do ourselves or, you know, we have limited staff or whatever it might be. And so, um, so I'm always trying to find, you know, does, does this create a time uh, a crunch for them or, you know, t- those types of things. And um, so anyway, so I'll, you know, those are things that will, you know, I'll always continue to look at and, and be in, you know, focused on. And I think, um, you know, again, looking at, w- you know, what are the bigger needs of Florida as it relates to, you know, transportation issues, education, you know, those types of things, um, those will be a focus for me and, uh, and have been, and certainly, 
uh, my time in service. Uh, you can um, you can probably Google me and, and see some of the things that I've done. But uh, so anyway, so All that's right. why. Terrific. Um, so now I've got a few more minutes with you and uh, I'm going to just throw the floor to you if there's anything else you wanted to make sure to say or um, any other issues that we didn't talk about. The floor is yours. Thank, thank you. Um, I think the only thing I would say is I'm sure this is the first time people are, you know, getting to take a look at me or whatever. And, and, uh, and, you know, and I have been up trying to, uh, build probably some relationships in Alachua County. I do know, I do know some folks up there. And so, you know, we've had an opportunity to do that. And, uh, certainly Levy County is new to me as well. So I've, uh, so I'm having to, you know, kind of spread myself out, but, uh, I just think that, you know, again, uh, I'm, my door is always open. I have a, open door policy, you know, as far as that goes. And um, I'm always uh, trying to, I, I, again, I think most of the challenges that are, they're not unique to one county, one municipality, one city. I think, you know, a lot of the things that, you know, are challenges in other counties are challenges, are going to be challenges in Alachua, Gainesville. And, and there's, you know, so uh, it's none of it will be none of it will be new. I, I don't think anything will be new to me. It won't be anything that I probably haven't heard or tried to tackle before. And and uh, so I'm looking forward to representing um, uh, you all up there and certainly trying to continue to move Florida forward. Terrific. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, throw in our little bit from the Greater Gainesville Chamber that we are uh, focused on helping our members and our community get ready for the big election that's right around the corner, Tuesday, November 5th. Please use your resources, uh, get to know uh, our candidates and make sure you're ready to cast your vote whichever way you like to do it for November 5th. Thanks again, Stan. It was nice talking to you today. Yep, thank you. Terrific. Uh, good luck on the rest of the campaign trail. Uh, you'll be spending some time on 75, I think. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Stay safe.